Well, good afternoon, Saddlers fans, and welcome to Biscuit Season for the opener against the Baggies. It's Saddlers versus Baggies, and it doesn't get any better than this. We've got a full stadium. We've got beautiful weather. It's in the 30 degrees. We've got a perfect pitch to play on. And we've got two teams who are aiming to show that they're better than their nearest neighbours today. Warsaw can kick off. And the first player to take a touch for the Football League season is going to be George Leitow. Warsaw lining up in their normal formation with the back three, two wing backs, Arinalde and Baisley. Osborne in some ways anchoring the midfield with Merson floating behind George Leto and Steve Corica. And away we go. 2003 football, it's Warsaw in possession. Basically forward, long ball. Cross to find Corica, runs through to Hulting goal. A vastly experienced team, this eight players are starting the game over the age of 30. I'll be in possession on the edge of the Warsaw area. Pass on the right, plays the ball into O'Connor, O'Connor crosses and Merson is there to block the cross, the first corner of the game to West Brom. Good to see Paul Merson doing some defensive work there for, out, uh, for Warsaw, but also interesting to see Danny Ditchie opening that all-important first header against Ian Roper. Corner's in, the head, it's a free header, and headed over the bar there. Can't see who was on the end of it, but it was a free header, 12 yards out, over the bar, didn't trouble the defence, and it was new signing, Volmer, who, who had the diving header. Free kick in, no danger to Warsaw, cleared away by Hay. It raises the Baggies fans' hopes. But Warsaw haven't looked under pressure for the last ten minutes now. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Some ways quickly in to see the danger. Wins the interception, finds Osborne, gets Merson. Merson tackled but gets possession back again. And Merson is running at the defence. The defenders chasing back, but Merson still going forward. One too many for him. Rack putting the pressure on. Uh, but it's a throw into Walsall. I think that's possibly where the lack of a support man for Leitow cost, cost, cost Walsall there as Merson shoots. A fantastic goal by Merson! What a wonderful goal across there from Corey Grun Merson! What a brilliant goal! A one touch volley from the edge of the area, right into the top corner. You won't see many better goals than that at Walsall this year. And if Merson can do that time and time again, Walsall are on the way. It's going to be a great season. Over to you. Paul Merson, the man who was the mastermind behind Portsmouth's shot promotion last season, he scored the first goal of this season and he puts Warsaw ahead against Albion. Can Merson, the magic man they call him, can he be the man to make Warsaw dream of the Premiership? Hark at the fans now, they're on their feet. They're loving this and Warsaw with a 1 0 lead, perhaps slightly against the run of the play, but who cares? It's Warsaw 1, the bag is 0, and we're 20 minutes into the first half. Come on, boys. A long ball forward to Corica. Cleared up at the back by the Baggies. And as far as Samways. Loses possession. Out to Haas. Arinaldi closes him down. The referee giving uh, Warsaw nothing so far. That was absolutely clear from where we are, but uh, Bag is in possession. And Warsaw have got the shape right. They know what they've got to do. And they're waiting for the Baggies to come on to them. Kumas gets away from Aaron Aldi, tries to play a 1-2, gets it. But that's a good tackle there from Hay on the edge of the area. Intercepts the 1-2, only goes as far as Clement. Turns it back inside to O'Connor. Appeals there for a penalty. Baggy fans roar. Wishful thinking. In comes the cross. And a free header at the far post. Might have done better. Walker was there. Seemed to have it covered, but it was a free header from a narrow, acute angle. 
and we settle down again. Well, Walsall seem to have settled down reasonably well with the loss of Roper early on. But here come the baggies, and that's a good tackle. It's a chance, and a good side by Jimmy Walker. O'Connor through there, shot on goal. Jimmy Walker at the near post turns it wide for a corner. A bit of a lack of concentration then when Kumas went past the last man because I'll been appealed for a foul. O'Connor went on with the ball and no one really picked him up. So another great save from Walker who's having a great day. Well, it's still 1 0 to Walsall, holding on at the moment. Up go the heads, Dickio's there, highs, but over the bar, under pressure from Hay, and it's the goal kick. Well, it's, uh, there's no, no breeze here today, it's very stifling, very warm, low 30s degrees, what's that in English, 90 degrees? Dino nods. It's definitely warm in the box here, but uh, it'll be a lot warmer down there running around. Free kick to Walsall, Samway's over it. Looking for Aronaldi on the run, gets the ball in behind. Arinaldi gets the far post, gets the cross in. It's loose in the box. Leto's there. And as far as Wilson, Mason's got it! Oh, believe it! What a goal from Benson! He's on the edge of the box and he's landing in the top corner from 25 yards! I can't believe it, Dino! This is like a dream come true. You could have told me Paul Merson was going to score two goals in the first half and that Warsaw would be leading the Albion 2-0. Oh, it's, it is beauty. It's a beautiful goal. He's hit two corkers. He won't score two better goals all season. And if he does, well, what a season we could have here at Warsaw. Paul Burson, 35 years old, and playing like an 18-year-old. What a right foot he has got. 2-0, Warsaw. Whatever they're paying him, he's worth a lot more. He's just proved today in 35, 40 minutes that he is the best player in the first division. And by God, what two wonderful goals. Just settle down for a minute and get our breath back. Hark at the fans. They love it. Don't we all? It's been Paul Merson's game so far, because on the truth of it is, and apart from the two goals, there's nothing in it with possibly Albion having the slight edge. But it's uh, balls in the spread bag that matter. Merson's put two of them there, and it's put the Saddlers 2-0 up. Emblem wins the clearance, finds Corica to Arenalde. Back to Corica, turns away, and he's off on a run, approaching the halfway line. Tries to get Leto in behind, but that's a ball to chase, and Leto quite rightly points to the corner where he was running, and that's where it should have been delivered. Well, if I'm going to make one prediction, I think that uh, in the last 15 minutes, Colin will be looking to substitute later because even though he's uh, Portuguese, has the uh, comes from the right climate. This is hot work for anybody, and here goes Adler's again. And it's Osborne running at the defence. Goes inside his man. He's got a clear shot of goal, and he's in the goal. And JJ, it's gone. It's gone. Leitão's going in. And Wilson has three nil up. I don't believe it again. Right on half time. Simon Osborne did all the hard work then. Cut inside and hit the post, Leto picked the bits up, his team. Well, that move started in their own half with Merson and Rack putting a couple of little passes together. You won't see a better move than that all season. Osborne got involved then after a lovely little touch by Corica as well, I think it was. He went, he dropped his shoulder at the edge of the box. Little shot, what a shame Osborne didn't score. 3-5-2 now for Walsall. Corica definitely tucked in, Merson left a round free. And with goals like those two, wouldn't you want them? Wouldn't you want Merson in the attacking third? But here's Corica again in possession. Gets Igor Arenaldi away. In comes the cross, who's on the end of it? It's uh, Volner, was it, who cleared. A little too high for Osborne, who came in. Didn't reach Leitao, but the pressure has won a corner for Walsall. And uh, we are... Seven minutes into the second half, is that a decent start? It is a decent start, unbelievably. It's the first corner of the match for Warsaw, which Paul Merson will take. Um, green it up, of course, so very rare to get a stat like that. 52 minutes before the first corner. Warsaw, four bodies in the box. 
plenty back. It's Merson on the ball. What can he do? Whips it in. Edge of the six. It's a free header for Emblem. Uh, hey, sorry. Is it Emblem? No, it was Emblem. Got the free header from five yards out. He couldn't get over it, and it was over the bar, but that was a chance. Really been kept quiet by Danny Hay, who's had a very quietly impressive game for Warsaw at the back. He's won headers, he's won tackles and interceptions. It's interesting now to see that, in fact, it's Baisley who's gone into the sweeper's role as it's racked down the right-hand side for Walsall. Cuts inside, leaves it for Merson. What can he conjure now? Turns back to Osborne. This is was good possession, misunderstanding there, and Kumas is away in front of Samways. The run goes in, but it's played against Baisley, still with uh, Baggies, but the pressure's on, and Emblem wins a good tackle there. Ball away with the Warsaw, 1-2 between Osborne and Merson. Another 1-2 between Osborne and Rack. And a lovely little flick there by Corica. He's fetched down by O'Connor. Could be a booking, certainly wants a word with him. And that was nice play by Warsaw. Lovely play, and uh, it's got to be said today, the groundsman's made a brilliant job on the pitch. It looks like a snooker table. And that's why Warsaw can play this, uh, this fine attacking passing football. Well, that's the way Colin Lee wants it. Um, uh, another, the groundsman here has done a good job. I think the uh, the team who put the pitch in actually put the Chelsea pitch in last year. And here's Corica with a shot. In. It's in! He's hit a volley from the edge of the box. It's three man. It's four nil. And Corica has scored a fourth wonderful goal for Warsaw. I can't believe it. What an hour of football we've had here at Warsaw, and four quite brilliant goals. Corica turned and he's hit a volley as crisp as any you will see. Eat your heart out, Paul Merson, because Steve Corica, he's in business as well. Well, that was a goal fit for an international standard, and Corica, of course, and Merson have both been internationals in their time, and they've shown today what they can do. Don Megson's team won't know what's hit them. This is unbelievable stuff. Merson, what else can you say? He's just hit two beautiful goals. And he's now going to hit the corner. On the left side, it's going to be a right in-swinger. There's not too many reds in there, in fact, there's only two. Finds one of them, but uh, it's cleared under pressure. And Albion in possession. Pulse. Dobby goes on a run. Kumas, under pressure from Emblem, gets away. Kumas looking to play him forward. Plenty of reds there, back. But Kumas on the edge of the area, tries a shot. It's deflected, it's deflected, it's 4-1. And that was a shot from Kumas that was deflected off Baisley, giving Walker no chance. He puts the baggies back in the game. There are 70 minutes gone, 20 minutes left, but it's too late for the baggies, and it's 4-1 to Walsall. Albion just can't wait for the final whistle now. They've had enough. Samways, Baisley. Here comes a bit of pressure. Out to Emblem, there's the lines, where's it gone to? Merson, first touch, tries to get Birchin, and he does. Arinaldo, Merson, Samways, Osborne, Samways. The crowd really appreciating this, and it's not a last-minute scramble to defend. This is Warsaw at their best, and it's still in possession. Corica, a lovely 40-yard crossfield ball, finds Birchin space on the edge. Eric cuts inside, shoots. Misses it, clips it, and it's across the front into the, the near post area, but no danger in the Albion. Good to see the confidence there of young Gary Birch, 21-year-old. Um, he could have an important role in the squad this season. And we are back in play, Oaks, his first touch, Arinaldo. Emblem. I noted that some of the uh, odds to win the league before the game, Warsaw were at 125, 140 to 1. Well, I'll bet the odds have shortened after today's performance, because if Warsaw continue to play like this, they're not going to be relegation fodder, they're going to be in the playoffs. Or dare I say it, even the dream. The game petering out now. Albion aren't bothered, Walsall just keep possession, they'll knock it around. Oaks. 
There goes the final whistle. And what a wonderful performance by the Saddlers today. Merson with two goals. The first two stunning goals. Leto, the third, collected the rebound off the post from an Os Osborne shot. And Corrick was soon into the second half, making it 4 0 with a cracking volley. Uh, a marvellous performance. Performances like that for the rest of the season. We're going to see Warsaw in the top half, even in the top six, and who knows. It was a great team effort all round, from Jimmy Walker at the back to George Leitao up front. Every player played his part in a brilliant performance today. And there are four memorable goals for the fans to think about when they go home tonight. We had an hour of wonderful football from Warsaw to take them 4 0 up. Kumas got a lucky deflection to make it 4 1. That was a slight blot on what was a magnificent 90 minutes for Warsaw. Paul Merson. Probably the man of the match with those two fantastic goals and a display in the second half of brilliance and impudence and character. Neil Emblen at the back, he's been he's proved to have been a very good signing. He was excellent today up against Danny Diccio, who's a danger man. He kept him quiet and well everywhere on the pitch you can look at Warsaw. All the players made a fantastic contribution. What a start to the season. So with that we'll leave you with the final score at Beskitt Stadium, a happy Saddlers fans for West Bromwich Albion 1.